Jordan and Corey. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not envious. Love does not brag. It is not puffed up. It is not rude. It is not self-serving. It is not easily angered or resentful. It is not glad about injustice, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Jordan Renee Maxier. As we enter our journey as husband and wife, I want you to know how truly loved and appreciated you are. I vividly remember our first date, sitting across from you at the table thinking how unbelievably stunning this woman is and how I can envision her as my future wife. God also shares in that vision and has blessed us with seven incredible years and a beautiful baby boy. I can't wait to put a ring on it and make you my wife. On that note, let's get married, baby. Until forever, love your future husband, Corey. Oh. My love, as I write you this letter and stand before you today, I'm sure of one thing, my love for you. You are my soulmate, my best friend, my stability, the one person I find comfort in, I can call my home. I'm beyond the luckiest girl to have you as my partner. You were the void I had in my life, the man of my dreams, not to mention the most amazing father to our son I could ever ask for. I will meet you at the altar. I will vow to spend the rest of our lives with you. I am yours, you are mine. We have the whole fairy tale forever and ever. Baby, we do the damn thing. <laughs> Christopher Nunez, the love of my life. You are my soulmate, my best friend, the one person I find comfort in and call my home. I promise to always value you, listen to you, respect you, and care for you, each and every way until the end of forever. I vow to love you through the highs and the lows and everything in between. I vow to protect you and provide for you. I vow to always respect you and honor you. To my beautiful bride, I will forever be your soulmate. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you. They are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it the most, support you and comfort you in difficult times. These are the hands that even years from now will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just one touch. I just want to say one thing, that I love my daughter more than anything in this world, and I love my son-in-law, he's the best. I just want to say I love him, and I'm so happy for him, and 
She's the most special girl in my life. So I look up to her a lot. She's, and I love this guy, so I just want everybody to know. Trust me when I say that you have the most loving, loyal, and forgiving person right by your side. You are loved, and we are so happy that you're a part of the best family ever. So I've been hearing a lot about love, and love is actually this. The greatest thing that anyone can do is lay down their life for someone they love. And that doesn't mean when you're in the casket. That's the everyday thing. That's love. This right here is a holy matrimony. The Bible says where two or more are joined, he is there with him. That when they get married, they will become one. Your weaknesses are now his. And his weaknesses are now yours, but also your strength has just doubled. Never go to bed angry. And Corey, remember, happy wife, happy life. Cheers and congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Nunez. Arriba. Thank you for loving me in a way I never knew I needed. You are my dream come true, my happily ever after. I am so in love with you today and forever. I love you and can't wait to begin our lives as husband and wife. Corey, you may now kiss your bride.